Floyd here at Save the Victory Roll. How is everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. Today we are going to be doing our summer go-to routine that I've been liking this summer <laughs> so far. We're like a month in and this is kind of um, the look idea that I've been going for. So if you want to see how I got this and the products that I used, you're in the right place and you need to keep on watching. So are we ready to do my summer makeup? I saw, I believe it was Carrie Kay had done a video on a summertime look and I just wanted to do kind of like a look based on what I do for the summer for my base right now and eyes, things like that. And using one of my favorite colors as the palette which is orange and yeah so here we go I've primed my eyes already I just use the kimchi it's the multitask is it superstar the, it's the most concealer but it's a multitask superstar there we go I got it in white so that way we can use nice bright colors and then I've got my Sephora tape on so we're ready to do a look so I'm gonna start by I wanted so I've been doing orange looks but I've not and I've used this as an waterline so this is the a lethal and this is in amplitude and I thought I'm going to use this to build my wing on the outside and then we can build with shadows from there so this um the lethal pot gel liners are my favorite eyeliners of all time for waterline and for doing little flicks but I've not used them yet really as one of the new no that was melt yeah I've not used these as a belt as a as a base and I've not used these as a big wing so I thought so we can kind of learn that together so hopefully that works so I'm just going to take myself a little a fine brush here this one is from where is this from I think it's from elf yes I think I got this as a freebie but it is nice and small and this way we can kind of grab ourselves a wing. It is a little stiff, so let me just move her around a bit. There we go. And then let's get some of this beautiful orange, and let's see if we can make a wing out of that. And I'm going berry picking with my mom today, so we're going to see how this lasts in the heat. This usually does super, super well on my waterline, lasts usually all day, but there you go. So that's really nice, that makes a really nice wing there. And then we'll do the same for the other side. I'll decide in a little bit if I want to make it a bit bigger. Let's just try and see if we can make sure we're evening it out on both sides. And I've not used a lot of gel liners except for in the inner corner so or inner corner waterline where as my new mantra is words are hard so is that looking pretty even yeah i think it is well, look at that so there we go we've got a bit of wing on the outside and then for orange eyeshadow i'm going to be using my this is still when it was um, alien cosmetics but this is the witching hour by unearthly cosmetics and i believe it has been reissued under the new name and this is the color story here and we've got a beautiful bright orange in the center here and then a shimmery shade there so we are going to start with the matte shade and that one is in grimoire and eh, look I can actually read it without glasses and I'm going to take a brush just make sure there's nothing on it okay so this is um it's one of my only P Louise brushes so it's this one here and then we're going to go into grimoire again it's this beautiful orange shade okay, and then we're going to do that Go on top of the shadow a little bit, or the shadow of the wing, and then we're going to bring this up like so. I don't usually do 
Try not to bring the color too far up. I just want to see it when my eyes are fully open. And of course, when they're closed, you'll always see it. But because I've got hooded eyes, I just, and crinkly eyes, I find a lot of times if I carry it too high, um, I don't always like how it looks. Sometimes I do, so I've done a, recently a few looks that have been a bit higher, but I just find that I like it a bit better if it's just going over my crease so that you can see my color of the eyeshadow that I'm wearing when my eyes are totally open. And we're trying to do just a nice, a simple look. I have no idea what berries we're picking. Um, I'm hoping there's gonna be raspberries where we are, but my mom is on the hunt for strawberries. So I have a feeling that's what we're doing. And then we're also going to do my mother's local farmer's market, which is good fun. I usually do mine here in the ridge, but I noticed the last time I was over at her place that they had a market too. So my mom's like, let's go check it out. So I'm like, let's do that. And then some berry picking before it gets too hot. Super early this morning. I thought I had to put on makeup anyways, even if I might sweat it off. So I thought I might as well film something. So there we go. It's a nice and bright and orange. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush. I keep losing my Wayne Goss brush. I thought I had put it in that cap and it's not. So let me just find something else that's big and floofy. Make sure there's no color on it. There we go. And we're just going to go and no extra color, just get it and like so. So this way I have a nice darker outer edge and or still orange. So we could do like a, I guess like a monotone look or yeah. You can do this with any color. I've been using a lot with greens, or greens with a little blue, or greens with a little purple. But today I was feeling a just an orange moment. If this palette had a yellow in it, I just don't want to grab another palette. I would do that, but there we go. So now I'm going to go into the shimmer shade. I'm going to try and find a brush that's a little bit more dense here. Yeah, there we go really do like these little brushes. And then we're gonna get a little bit of my e.l.f. spray here. And then we're gonna grab, if I can read the shade here, this is Signal, Sigil, Sigil. That one there. Can you see? Sometimes when I'm looking at my monitor, I don't think the colors look correct to what I see in person. But then I go into editing and it looks totally fine. And I got this monitor for free on the free shelf downstairs which I'm very grateful for, but it doesn't, I can't seem to change the brightness too much. I got it as um, best as I can on here, which I think is still a little bright. Oh, I didn't really get any color here. I was gonna remember with an Earthly that some of their shimmers are a little bit heavier packed, um, which I really like, but I just always gotta remember when I'm first grabbing some that I need to just kind of swirl around in there a little bit. And then also since I'm with my mom, she is not big on makeup or a lot of make me doing crazy makeup looks, but it makes me happy. And she has noticed, I think, that when we're out and about, a lot of times I get compliments on my makeup. So I think it's a little less um, of a thing. And other people are liking it. Okay, so I think I brought the one eye a little bit higher than the other. So I may like this eye just a smidge. So I either going to have to match that up on the other side. So I'm going to again go into, I'm just going to use the same brush, I take Gordon Noir, and just do a touch higher over here. I don't want to do too much more. There we go. That look, I think that looks really nice, right? Nice and bright for summer. And then I'm going to I'm going to take my phalange and dig in there a little bit. This is such a beautiful color. Let's see if I can get a little extra bling here. 
I got the um, Smells Like Holiday Spirit, and I've been really digging that palette from them. And they re-released the In the Dark palette, which if it wasn't on a no-buy, I would have got, because that was the one I wanted and I missed on the sale. It still said Alien Cosmetics, so there we go. There we go. That little bit there. I did smidge some on the bottom there, so let's just use my sponge here to get rid of a little bit of the shimmer. Okay, if not, that's okay. We can cover it with mascaras. So there we go. That went nice and sharp. So I do like that liner a lot. So that's going to be really good on the bottom lash line as well. Maybe I should put the lid on it. Not that I think it's going to dry out that fast, but let's be smart about these things and um, put our lids back on. Okay, so we can stop with eyes for a minute and then we're going to go with base. So I've been really liking and sadly won't be able to get it anymore. This is from Makeup Geek. Um, if I'm using, which is the foundation or tinted moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Maracuja. I really like this. I bought in, in I want to say the November Sephora sale, I had bought a sample size or some, yeah, the smaller size of it. And I really liked it, so on the May sale or my birthday, one of the two, I went and I got some more. So anyways, this doesn't really, I think it does feel fill pores a little bit, but just makes, um, gives a little shine to my skin. And then it um, makes the makeup seem to glide nicely on. You see how you got that little bit of shimmer? It's still, I really like this a lot, so. Now it's one of those things where, why did I buy two? But then something else comes up, so I don't try to buy too many duplicates or backups of too many things, because then, you know, you want to try something else and you feel bad if you're not using what you bought. So, and then we're going to give that a second, and while that is kind of settling, I just am using my colored rain sponge, and I'm going to use some of my Maracuja. And then this one I bought in a slightly different color this time. I bought this in 13N. I believe I had 20N last time. And I always thought, oh, I could maybe go a little bit lighter. And then when they did, but I liked the 20N. And then when they didn't have it in stock, I thought, okay, well, now's my chance to try a little bit lighter. And I've been really enjoying this. And then I can use my, my little mirror here from Odin's Eye. And let's smack some of this on. See, it's nice, lightweight, but it has decent coverage to kind of like tone down a little bit of red or unevenness. It doesn't seem to really go into fine lines and wrinkles. I've been real, being really, really good and diligent with my skincare and, you know, always making sure I double cleanse when I have makeup on. And if I'm having a lazy night where I don't want to do full skincare, I always make sure I put a little bit of my retinol eye cream on and I will put on a nice thick a mask. Right now I'm using the, um, what is it? It's a... Uh, never remember their name. It's the, the, the guy that people were upset about the spray about. Uh, if I remember, I'll pop it up there. But anyways, it's the, it's a seaweed sleep mask. It's a nice thick kind of moisturizer and then it just makes my skin look really nice and soft feeling in the morning. Alrighty. There we go. We've got our face on. I've just been, um, I've just been trying to use up powders. I had gotten, so just a teeny bit left, I had gotten a Laura Mercier in my birthday from Soap for a package, so I've been using that up and really enjoying that actually. And then I think I'm going to, I'm trying to also pan a kimchi powder, and then I'm gonna hopefully, and then in between using my favorite, which is the Fenty Lavender Powder, but then I was like to set my foundations and my tinted moisturizers and then I'm going to give myself a spray. I've been using a BH Cosmetics Paradise set. I got to this at like a Winner's Home Sense which is like TJ Maxx here. And I've been finding if I spray in between 
I get a nicer, smoother application and it um, stays, I think, longer through the day. So let's do brows. So for brows, since I got my brows done a little while ago, when they're um, not so unruly, I just like to use a little bit of a wax. I am panning the uh, pink honey colored one, which I really like. And then I've got another brand that I had gotten that I'm going to try out after. And then just use a little spoolie. Here, I got a nice clean one. And then I just pop in a little bit of, you can use water too, but usually because I have this handy, I just pop in a little bit of my e.l.f. So like I said, since my brows are nice and clean and not so unruly, just usually I'm happy sticking them up with just a a smidge of the wax and then that's it and that's easy for summer they stay up so I don't have to worry about that so we are pretty dry dry from setting spray so now I'm going to use a little bronzer I've been using two recently I'm trying to pan a cover effects one because I really do like it it's just one I had opened a little while ago in between some other ones and I thought I better work on that and then I've also been using this one which is from Primark and it is their bronze whip and um I had this sent by Sylvia Monroe. We are going to be shooting a video together tomorrow. She's going to help me test some Zoom-like Zoom uh, software. So I thought we could do a video together. So when I'm doing a summer look, I try to use as much cream products as I can. So we're just going to go in and just use a little bit of bronzer. I don't use a lot. I'm pale and uh, sometimes it looks weird if I have too much. So I always just like to have a little bit and I like it to be kind of just above where my cheek is there because then I can blend a little um, blush into it as well and then just nicely sometimes I do more but if I'm gonna go out out and about and I just want a light summery look I just need I just want a little bit to make me feel like I have <laughs> carving out the cheeks and then I will sometimes depending on um, if it's blending the way I like or not. If I need a little bit extra, then I will just take this little blush brush here and then just kind of pat a little bit just to make sure. Okay, so that is bronzer on board. So I guess I just a little bit, I could feel like I've got a little bit of a cut going on there. So um, let's, before we, I'm going to just let this set a teeny bit more, let's go back to our eyeshadow and then we're going to go into the bottom lash line. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, use a little bit of grimoire along the bottom and then we will take a little bit of that, the liner again onto the waterline. So again, give us a bit of a spritz and then I'll spritz a little bit for the mattes. So again, so I... Try not to get any fallout. And we're just gonna go like so. Sometimes I like to do like a green under eye, but today I wanna stick with a monochromatic look and do just orange like so. And I think orange, which is different than red, I don't think it makes you look like you've got um, you know, pink eye or anything. Sometimes with red, it's a bit of a crap shoot if you can get it to not look, make you look sickly, at least for me anyways. So there we go, we've got that. And then we're gonna go back into our lovely Amplitude from, yes, Amplitude, yes, from Lethal. Again, um, I always say this all the time, remember to keep the little cap that comes with it because some people have said that they've had theirs dry out and I wouldn't want that to happen. I've been using a green one for about a year now and it's not dried out for me. And I think it's because I really make sure that I've got the cap on and I really tighten it. I try not to leave it open too long as I'm doing something else. There we go, I think that's it. I didn't even have to dip it back in again, which is great. I love this little brush here. So there we go, so there is our 
orange eyeshadow. I'm not, again, because I'm going to be going out and about and sweating my head off. I don't think I want to put any kind of lashes on. So I, this is probably going to be one of my last uses of the e.l.f. one here, the Big Mood. I've had this open for, I think, long enough. It's getting to the super goopy part. So I think it's almost ready to open another mascara. Alrighty. Now, contemplating, sometimes I like, because it seems to make my lashes seem a little bit bigger if I use just a teeny bit of a black liner along the lash line. So I think I'm going to do that today. So I've been also panning because it was getting frizzy on the end and I've had to cut some, <laughs> some of the little bits off the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. I really do like this, but I have a couple other ones that I'll have to use up first before I buy any a new one of this, but I did really enjoy this. Just a thin line. See, don't you think it looks, makes things look just a little bit um, more intense on the lashes, especially since I have so few. There is that. So there we go. Like I said, I just feel that it goes, makes my lashes look a little bit darker. There we are. Hopefully I'm going to be in okay focus. It's pretty bright around here. So we are finished with that, I think. And yeah, so let's play with the blush that I want to play with today. And it is also from Unearthly Cosmetics. I bought this empty palette. I still have to play around. There's maybe some more things that I want to put in there. But I do have a highlighter in here from Makeup Geek. And then I have this um, blush from Unearthly. I love their blushes so freaking much. So this is definitely something I'm considering buying more of their blushes when I go from my no buy into a budget budget buy. But I'm really trying to make it that for three months I don't buy anything. So anyways, here we go. We're gonna go in this beautiful orange. I'm just going to lightly tap into it. It gets nice and pigmented, but it's still buildable. So I always like just to take a little bit and then always just in case if I'm not sure if I've grabbed too much, I just always start a little bit higher up because then it's always easier to blend blend it down. See, isn't that such a beautiful color? Like I said, you don't need a very much, just some light taps. I used to always do the apple of my cheeks, but now I've been doing it a little bit higher. Every once in a while, I still like it to look a little fleshy. I'll still sometimes bring it a little bit lower, especially when I'm playing with this blush. I do like it a lot. And then a little bit on the nose as well. When I'm using an, using an orange blush, I use just the smidgy smidgiest on the nose. I try not to have too much because it is orange. I don't know too many people that have an orange nose <laughs> if they get too much color or they do like this. And I like to start to bring it up a little bit. If I wasn't going out, I might do this tomorrow on my thing with Sylvia. Alexander likes putting makeup on the ears. Maybe I will for Alexander try a little makeup on the ears, but we will see. All right, so isn't this the most beautiful orange? And then let's brighten it a little bit more because today I'm feeling that orange vibe. Did forget to get a lipstick. And then if I want it even more intense, I can always start with an orange base. So like this Fenty Beauty one that I've been using. And is it in tangerine? No. Peach, peach face. I don't know why I got tangerine. I must have a blush somewhere. It's called tangerine. But anyways, this one's been really nice as well. But this one is a little bit leaning more towards the orange that we've got on our eyes. So there we go. So this, like I said, this is just a nice, simple look for summer. I'm going to go and put on a little bit more. Now we want to do some highlighter. I've been in the last couple days anyways. I'm falling back in love with this little cover effects trio that I have. It is their, I want to say it's their gold bar and they have three shades which is 24 karat gold, white gold, and rose gold. And I'll show you the inside if you've not seen me use this before. This is it there. And I really, my favorite is this one, the one in the center. And then 
this one and then that one. They all do work for me as you can tell I've got this one full, especially this one actually really have lots of divots in there. But I've been loving this. I really like when they quilt things. I find that it lasts longer. I miss like back, well I can't wear Chanel makeup now because I don't think they're cruelty free. But back in the day when I did wear Chanel I always you would get because I couldn't afford a lot. So I did buy, you know, like a, not a quad, but like a single shadow and a nice compact. And they always had them quilted and they would last me forever. And it's the same with this because it's quilted. It just seems to last longer. So let me see if I have, yes, there it is. My favorite um, Kaleidos. I do have another, another one I gotta find it too. But anyways, I really like their highlighter brushes. And then we're gonna go into here. And then this is a more, natural natural leaning um sh a shimmer highlighter doesn't leave any texture it just has a nice shimmery look and it looks nice and skin i guess almost more natural for highlight like if you hit the right points it'll look like where you actually get kind of um dewy anyways but I really do like this one a lot. Let's see, it doesn't affect any of the foundation. And it just gives this, I can just keep going, I can keep going. Gives a beautiful, naturally shimmer. And I got this, believe it or not, as a freebie. I had done an order and then I had, if you spent X amount of dollars, you could pick a couple things. And this is one of the, well, there, I think there's one thing that you could pick and then there was one that they added to the package. Anyways, I've gotten this for free in my order and I'm really happy with it. Alrighty, so now I also, because I'm going to be going out and it's going to be hot, I do want to give my makeup its best life. So I'm going to go in with my favorite um, compact powder of all time, which is the ZZ one. This is my second one I've gone through, or is this my third one? I think it's my second one and I have one more left. So there we go, we've got to that. So we're gonna again do one more spray and then we're gonna contemplate lips. And for lips, what are we going to do? All right, this is what I decided. Again, because I'm going out with my mother, I would have probably done a bright orange or um, even maybe even a yellow lip with this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the Spice Gloss from Unearthly and then I've got this Besame Lip Liner and I can't remember what shade it is. It's like a pinky shade, pinky neutrally shade. So I thought that might be okay for underneath. So it has a nice sharp point on it. So I'm just gonna go and give this a little line. Yeah, the older I've gotten, the less pigment I've gotten in my lips, which in one way is good because now for the last like five years or so, I've been able to wear red lipsticks a lot, which I wasn't able to, I thought really before, I thought it really kind of clashed with my lip color originally, but. Anyways, and for not being a gloss person, I've been really enjoying this gloss. I think that the glosses that I do like are generally the ones that are this milky texture, more opaque, not glittery and super sticky. This one's a little sticky, but it's not annoyingly sticky. So, alrighty, so I'm just gonna go, quickly go and do a little something more with my hair, not a lot. I'm waiting to get it colored, which is going to be on Tuesday. My um, hairdresser was sick and had to cancel on me, which, um, fine. <laughs> um, she's amazing, so I'm glad she's feeling better. So we are able to get our hair done on Tuesday. I'm just going to do a little, little something and then, all right. Okay, so we are back. Uh, as you can see, my bangs are out of hand, but we'll have that fixed on Tuesday. And so there's not much I can do. I am going to be wearing a hat <laughs> to go out into the sun. Ooh, I didn't do a lot with my hair, but just stuck in some earrings, a little bit of jewelry, and yeah, here we are. So that is my summertime go-to routine. Again, the eye color may change a little bit, probably greens or greens and blues or whatever. I've been trying to play with some different color palettes. But uh, yeah, so just a simple base, some blush of color, a nice glossy lip, and there we go. So that is my summertime go-to look. 
So, if you'd like to give us a like, a comment, and subscribe, or maybe even hit that notification bell, it would be greatly appreciated. If not, uh, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can do um, makeup routines of the seasons <laughs> together. Um, so, uh, that's it for me. Um, have a fantastic day. Behave. Make good choices, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.